there's some tenderness to it. There are days where it's just painful and you know, your skin's cracking, it's bleeding. Sometimes the bad days outnumber the good days. And the bad days can be really bad to the point where, I mean, he's in tears. The pain is so bad, he's in tears. It can be very demoralizing to, you know, look in the mirror and see this condition chewing away at your body. The condition that Aaron Ribner battles is psoriasis, a non-contagious skin disorder that currently has no cure and afflicts between 2 and 3 percent of the world's population. For those unaffected, it may seem odd that a skin disorder would be so overwhelming. You make accommodations, uh, but it becomes difficult and challenging. You might wear your beard longer. Uh, you might grow your hair longer. I mean, I've certainly done both of those things to, you know, cover up areas of my body where I've got psoriasis. Outbreaks can sometimes be triggered by emotional stress, injury to the skin, or by infections such as strep. Because it can masquerade as other skin conditions, especially in its early stages, diagnosis can be difficult. Aaron was told he had a bad case of dermatitis by two different specialists before he was eventually seen by Emory's Dr. Robert Swerlich. When I saw him, he actually had evidence of an active strep infection. We treated that and also put him on a biologic agent. He did dramatically better. And in fact, he came off all therapy for a while. Though much is still unknown about psoriasis, experts believe it could be an inherited autoimmune disorder where skin cell production is accelerated and lesions form ravaging the skin. Treatments include phototherapy, steroids, topicals, and newer biologic agents which suppress the immune response. It's hard to imagine how I actually practiced uh, with some of the older things where you'd smear people with tar and smelly things and goop them up. We're now medications that we have at our disposal um, can really put people into virtually complete remission. Treatments can be expensive and sometimes difficult to acquire. Such was the case with Aaron when his next outbreak occurred. As his symptoms got worse, the disease took its toll on his family. They know that, that daddy hurts. You know, they know that those areas of his body are very tender and very sore, so they become much more ginger about, you know, coming up and, and having physical contact. Why is that, Mommy? What, what's going on? Is Daddy going to die? I mean, you get those questions. Not to mention the modifications to his behavior he had to make to keep from putting off friends and business associates. I used to shake hands pretty much straight on, and, and now you shake hands kind of like, you know, more of the hip-hop style, right? You come in from the top. He is still trying to um, figure out how to, how to talk to people, how to hide it. If you use the word genetic disorder, people are more comfortable with it than, you know, a, a viral infection or something like that that they might catch. And that's always really at the core of what people are afraid of. Oh, can I get that? For WebMD, I'm Damon Mahark.